Guys, this is why I come back at you one more again. I hope you are doing good on this terrific Thursday. If this is your first time coming to my channel, welcome, love, and blessings to you, and namaste, and thank you for your support. If you are returning sub, love and blessings to you also, and namaste, and thank you for your support. Today, my video is about Twin Flame 101, Universal Spiritual Cause and Effect. Um, right now, I'm listening to my dad's song, Black News. You heard uh, Martin Luther King doing his speech. I love that speech. It's always moved me since I was a child. Um, I was reading up on my angel guys stuff this morning. You know, I have a thing with numbers. So, it's just like every day I go through my different numbers and see what I see a repetitive number of. And then I go look it up. And it just, you know, and I was just thinking about how the things that I talked about, uh, talked about for with different people and you know like I've talked to you guys on my videos it's just like what we what we give out is what comes back to us you know um universal spiritual law is like with frequencies vibrations love harmonious you know frequent you know no, frequencies I've said that already but it's just like everything that has a balance to it, it it's just like laws of attraction and it's just like with karma, you know, laws of karma. It, it, it's just like anything that you give out will come right back to you. It, it's just like, even though I didn't even know, like, if you have somebody who gets on your nerves or something like that. And even though you don't, you might look at them and don't say anything, but just the thought process can cause bad karma. And I'm just like, God, dog. <laughs> It's just you thinking you're being nice by just not saying nothing, but just the thought process that's coming in your mind is a law of karma. And I did not realize that, that when you, even when you just thinking about something that is negative, that you need to, uh, that it's going to come back to you basically. So it's just like when you have things that you're going through, and I know it's so hard to do, we have to think positive. We have to really think positive because it's just like if you're going through a path like I am right now and I'm just wondering why am I got all this confusing stuff that's going on? Why do I feel stagnant? Why do I feel stuck? You know, even though I see things every day, it's not the things that I want to see, but I'm trying to be blessed and grateful and appreciative about the things that I receive, even though they might not be the things that I actually want to do right now or actually want to receive right now. I have to be grateful for the things that I get so I can be able to appreciate the, the ones, the, the things that I really want. So I was always doing research like, what do I got to do to better myself? You know, what do I have to do? And then all of a sudden this stuff started coming up and I was just reading up on it and it just blew my freaking mind. And it's just like, so you read what you sow. Uh, what goes around comes around and so if you start thinking about all these negative comments or all negative thoughts and all negative things that you went through in the past that's why I always wondered why my dad always said baby be my mirror be happy if you want to be with me you got to be happy and I never really got that I'm just like I'm trying to be happy but all this stuff in my head and it's just the fact is the thought process that I program myself to think about Sometimes it's just so hard and we have thought about negative things for so long. It is so hard to get out of that, that, you know, that, uh, that routine. So it's just like right now I'm practicing, you know, even though I'm not exactly where I want to be. Like I look at pictures of my dad, uh, like his house and I, I picture myself walking through the doors. I see my picture with, you know, um, my Tay and I picture myself talking and stuff like that to her. So even though um, everything is just going crazy right now, a haywire and it's just like I'm getting this in information and blessings are coming on, but it's just like if I'm not exactly where I'm ready to be, you know, want to be, like I'm ready to be there, but it's not ready for me. 
you know, I might seem like I'm ready. Obviously, I'm not ready for me not to be there yet. So I have to be grateful on just like that, you know, why is this happening for so long? Why is this taking so long? And it's just like sometimes I'll go on Facebook and I'll see other people's comments like, you know, when is this, you know, this is not making sense about, you know, Prince and and all these things are going on and I know the truth is coming out and it's just I can't wait until some kind of closure comes about his death and and I'm just thinking like you just don't know how I feel the same way you do okay so it's just like the laws of attraction it, it's just like I'm trying so hard right now like when every time I make videos to you guys I try to be harmonious I try to be loving discerning you know discerning and stuff like that so, whatever I push out, I can get that back, you know, so it's just things that I, you know, I even, you know, notched up my affirmation on things that, you know, that I'm currently going through, and I, I'm just turning that around like everything's straight, you know, and it's just like when you're going through things, and and you want to be adored, or you want to be respected, or you want to be loved. You put that on your, your paper like you're already loved by millions of people. You know, you, you program yourself to say, I love, you know, I'm loved by a lot of people. I'm admired by a lot of people and stuff like that. And then you'll be able to welcome all those po positive vibrations and all the pro positive frequencies. And then you'll get to where you actually need to be. And that's the things that I'm doing right now. And I'm just like, thank God, you know. And I had to release all the people that are not supposed to be there in my life that, that you know, their, their energy it's not that they're bad people, it's just the things that they, they collect of themselves that I know that I have my own stuff that I'm trying to get rid of, and it's just more stuff I get rid of. It's just certain people that I come across, I collect their things too, and I'm just like, oh no, that's just too much, I can't deal with that. So it's not the fact that they're bad people, it's just the fact that you just can't, if they're not on the same frequency as you, and then sometimes it, it, it can hinder you from getting where you need to be. So it's not about you, you know, just want to leave somebody in the dark. It's just if they're not trying to get where you're at and there's just stuff there and stuff like that, you just have to let them go with love and light and just pray that things will get better for them. And that's why I had to do, you know, don't wish bad on things for people that do wrong to you because I'm telling you, all that stuff comes back. And I, I had to really watch myself and catch myself. There's just a lot of the things that I went through that I can understand. And then I used to wish bad things, and I'm just wondering why it took so long for me to get where I'm at now. And then it's just my thought process on how I perceive things, how I looked at people who hurt me, and how I wish bad on them. And it's just not doing nothing but making me look about as bad as them, just for me wishing stuff like that. So you, it's just like when people put you through stuff, just pipe on. You just leave it alone. Cut them out your life. And just do what you gotta do and just to better yourself. So I'm not gonna hold you guys up today. I'm gonna make another video tomorrow. So I will see you guys later. I had to just regroup myself um on um uh, a lot of things. Like I said, I've been going through a lot of stuff and just different emotions because it's like I'm just ready for things to be a lot more better than they are. But I know they they are getting there. And the blessings I see every day, but it's just like you, you get the little blessings. You're like, yeah, I appreciate it. But when is this going to happen? Or when is that going to happen? So we have to just be patient on the things that we have. And, you know, there's always a reason for the things that we go to, through. And there's always a reason why there might be a delay on the things that we get. Because you never know. There might be a storm ahead that we never knew about. And we have to say thank you. It might not have been meant for me right now. So, it's just like things are getting better and it's just like I got more stuff that's going on. But like I told you guys, I don't I don't try to put that out there because it's just I don't want to jinx myself. But I hope you guys have a blessed day and I will talk to you tomorrow. And please like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. Even drop a comment if you feel free. And I will talk to you later. Peace and be wild.